This photo illustrates the two separate exhaust manifolds for the M104 engine, red arrows. There are a few other systems that must be removed from the manifold before they can be removed from the engine. These include the EGR tube, red arrow, the air pump injection tube, yellow arrow, along with the manifold retaining nuts, green arrows. Use a 5mm Allen and remove the bolt holding the air pump tube to the head, red arrow. Use a 12mm socket and remove the nuts you can get easy access to. When removing the nuts, some will come off the studs, red arrows. Sometimes the studs will back out with the nut, yellow arrow. Working under the car, remove the 13mm nut holding the air pump tube and valve to the engine block, green arrow. While you can separate the tube from the valve, red arrow, it is easier to separate the unit from the air pump where the tube attaches to the pump, yellow arrow. Use a 13mm socket with a series of extensions and remove the two bolts holding the exhaust pipes to the front manifold, red arrows, and the rear manifold, yellow arrows. Remove the rest of the lower nuts from the manifold to block. You can now pull the front manifold off from above. The front manifold has three separate gaskets. The rear two, red arrow, are common, but the number one cylinder is different to fit around the head design, yellow arrow. Remove the upper retaining nuts, red arrow, on the rear manifold. Separate the EGR tube from the manifold by supporting the lower manifold nut with a 17 mm wrench and using the appropriate size wrench to loosen the upper nut, red arrow. Remove the rest of the retaining nuts and pull the manifold from the head. The rear manifold has three separate gaskets, one for each exhaust port, red arrow. The exhaust downpipes and the EGR tube do not need additional support while the manifold is off. Installation is the reverse of removal. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.